Welcome to the Quick Study Video Guide where you'll learn how to gain maximum advantage from the Connect for Health Colorado Insurance Exchange. In this short video you'll get an overview of what to expect, learn how to get through the process as quickly and easily as possible, and understand what pitfalls to watch out for. In the interest of time I'm going to cover a lot of ground quickly so feel free to use the video's pause button as you follow along step by step. Now the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, is the law of the land and it applies to all new health insurance policies starting in 2014. And pre-existing conditions are no longer a factor for any of these new health insurance policies with effective dates of January 1st, 2014 and later. Now depending upon the size of your household and its income level, you may be eligible for Medicaid or for special federal subsidies called advanced premium tax credits. These are determined by the size of your household and your household's estimated income for 2014. In step one, we're going to determine the size of your household. Now, of course, you want to include yourself, uh, your spouse, your unmarried partner who needs health insurance coverage, children who live with you, even if they uh, make enough money to file a tax return themselves. And uh, then I'll let you read the rest of what needs to be included. And also, please quickly read through uh, who should not be included when determining the size of your household. For step two, we're going to estimate your household's income. Now, the household income must include the total income for all the people that were used in step one including dependents if the dependents earned enough money to file a tax return. And as a footnote, married couples must file jointly in order to get an advanced premium tax credit. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to estimate your 2014 household income and using from the, the sources listed below and you'll see this detailed for what to include and what not to include. And as a, as a quick tip, what you're really going to be using ultimately is something called the Modified Adjusted Gross Income. And this may be a new term to many of you, but for most people, the Modified Adjusted Gross Income is quite similar to the Adjusted Gross Income and something that you can find on your uh, previous year's federal income taxes. Now, you want to try to get as close as possible to an accurate estimation for the 2014 uh, total household income is there will be a reconciliation of the advanced premium tax credit when you file your 2014 federal income taxes. However, I know a lot of people, particularly self-employed people, find it very difficult to estimate their 2014 income. And don't stress out about it because we, they understand that sometimes life happens and income could wind up being higher or, or lower than what you expected for 2014. And in that event, you can simply call Connect for Health Colorado's customer service number, let them know that there's been a change in the income, and then they will be able to adjust your advanced premium tax credit on the fly. Now that we've determined the number of people in the household and the, uh, the estimated household income for 2014, we're going to move to step three. And now we're going to be able to use these numbers to determine the eligibility for Medicaid or for the advanced premium tax credits. Now, if you look at this table, you can simply go down to the, uh, to the appropriate number for your household size. And if your income falls below this 133% level, then you will be eligible for the new expanded Medicaid program uh, through Obamacare. Many people who were not eligible for Medicaid in the past will now be eligible uh, starting in 2014. Now if your income is above 133 percent but below 400 percent then you will be eligible for something called the advanced premium tax credit. Now the advanced premium tax credit is pretty much what it sounds like. It is a credit that reduces the amount of the health insurance premiums that is paid in advance. So certainly that's very beneficial to those people who qualify. Also, 
if your income is between 133% and 250% of the, uh, the federal poverty level, which is what this table reflects, then you're going to be eligible for a reduced cost sharing on the silver plans. Basically, it means that you would get special lower deductibles and lower out-of-pocket maximums only on the silver plans. Again, that's between 133% and 250% of the, the federal poverty level. Now, if your income is above the 400% level, what that means is that you are ineligible for the advanced premiums tax credit. However, you can still use the Connect for Health Colorado website to get health insurance for 2014. And because of this, people who are above 400% can simply skip the Medicaid and Advanced Premium Tax Credit eligibility applications and simply find the plan they like and apply for it. Step 4. Connect for Health Colorado is Colorado's health insurance exchange, and it's the only place you can get an Advanced Premium Tax Credit that reduces the cost of your health insurance. Now you can still get health insurance through the exchange even if you don't qualify or want the advanced premium tax credit. First, go to Connect for Health Colorado and create an account or log in. Now I've already created an account and logged in for the sake of time. Next, please authorize me as your certified agent on the exchange. This only takes seconds and is required before I can help you with, the, with your new insurance plan answer questions or service your account going forward. Please know there is no charge or extra cost and this helps me provide free valuable resources like this video to help people across Colorado. It's very simple. All you need to do is go to Get Assistance, select Find Expert Assistance in your community, then simply type in the license number listed below this video and you can enter that right here. Then select the search button, select the agent's name, and then simply authorize. Now it will require you to go through and select a start date, which should be today, and then an end date, which will be some distant date in the future and then select the blue authorize button. It's that easy. The next step is to complete eligibility. Now you must fill this out if you think you're going to be eligible for Medicaid or the advanced premium tax credit. And here's an important time-saving tip. If you don't want to go through the process to apply for the advanced premium tax credit now, you can skip this and apply for insurance through the exchange and get the tax credit when you file your 2014 federal income taxes. However, if you prefer to get the advanced premium tax credit, which immediately reduces your monthly insurance premiums, here is that process. First, we need to go through and authorize that we agree to their privacy statement. And this takes us to the Do I Qualify for Financial Assistance page. And most people are going to answer yes, if their uh, income is such where they're going to qualify for Medicaid or for the advanced premium tax credit. And also most people, if you're coming here for the first time, uh, you have not been denied Medicaid or CHP Plus, so we're going to select that No button. Now when you select the Continue button below, you're going to be directed to, the, uh, to Colorado's peak system, P-E-A-K, and the PEAK system is where you will create a new account and apply for Medicaid. And just as a reminder, regardless of whether or not you're eligible for Medicaid, if you want the advanced premium tax credit, you must apply for Medicaid using Colorado's PEAK system. The Medicaid application takes about an hour to complete, and those who are not approved will receive a seven-digit denial code from the PEAK system. If you do a good job on your Medicaid application, about 80% of the people will get a denial the same day, and others will have to wait typically a couple of weeks, although the system will warn you it could take up to 45 days 
which is the worst case scenario. Now for those of you who are denied Medicaid, you will get a seven digit Medicaid denial code from the PEAK system and then you're going to log back into the Connect for Health Colorado website and you'll go back to the, uh, the My Account page and then we'll go right back into this uh, complete eligibility and then we're going to see these exact same questions again only this time we're going to answer yes to the question have you ever been denied Medicaid and then you're simply going to enter in the uh, seven digit Medicaid denial code and then you will go on to complete the eligibility determination for the advanced premium tax credit which most people can easily complete in about 20 minutes. At the conclusion of this step, when you go to browse the plan, you'll be able to see the net cost less the advanced premium tax credit. So as an example, if a plan costs $400 a month and the advanced premium tax credit is $100 a month, then it's going to show a net cost to you of $300 a month and the $300 a month is the amount that you would pay for your health insurance premium. Also, don't forget to take a look at the silver plans to see if you're eligible for reduced cost sharing, which gives you lower deductibles and out-of-pocket maximum. And again, those are for people with household incomes between 133 and 250 percent of the federal poverty level. Now, in the interest of time, we're going to skip that and browse the plans without the advanced premium tax credit. So we will select find a plan. We are going to click here to browse plans. And we will leave that all as default. Now you will see that by default, these plans are sorted, showing the lowest cost plans with the highest deductibles first. You'll see here that we have 178 plans to start with, but we have the option of using these filters on the left side to where we can focus in on plans that are going to be the most suitable for our particular needs. We have the ability to filter by monthly premium, by the deductibles, by the out-of-pocket maximum, and we can also filter by the carriers. Now the carriers that you see here are going to be the carriers that most people in Metro Denver are going to see, but for everybody who lives outside of Metro Denver you're probably going to see a smaller list of carriers and perhaps with some different names there as the carriers uh, vary based upon the zip codes. Below that we also have the ability to select the and filter by the the metal level for the coverage and the most benefit rich and most expensive plans are going to be platinum then gold then silver and finally the bronze. Now here's a tip that can save you a lot of frustration in the coming year. Although these company names are familiar, don't assume that the carrier networks are going to be the same of what you, you may have used in the past. Many of the 2014 plans carriers networks are much smaller than what we've seen in the past. So unless you're willing to change doctors, you're going to want to use the provider lookup button to see what doctors, what or excuse me, what plans your provider takes. Now I'm going to quickly type in a, uh, a doctor's name here and we can simply type in the, uh, in most cases the provider's last name is sufficient and I know that he's within 25 miles of that zip code and then we'll simply hit the search button and then we will see Dr. Zonka's name appear right here. Then we will select the provider and now if we select more info you can actually see what provider networks the doctor is in and then if we go back to the plans you're going to see that the system automatically filters only to show the carriers that this doctor participates in we'll see you may have noticed that Kaiser is no longer the first uh, name that appears and that's because this doctor is not in Kaiser's provider network. Now when we're looking at the plans there's a number of things that you want to examine in addition to making sure that the, uh, that the carrier works with your providers. Uh, certainly we want to look at the deductibles in particular the per person deductible 
And also keep in mind that many of the HSA qualified plans will have a single family deductible that will apply and regardless of whether it's one person or multiple people in the event that you have more than one person applying for coverage. Uh, the other thing that you really want to keep an eye on is the annual maximum cost. And you're going to see that for almost all of these bronze plans they all have a 6350 annual maximum cost. And this is inclusive of the deductible co-insurance, any co-pays, etc. So basically the annual maximum cost is going to be your worst case scenario for all in-network covered expenses in a given year. Now let's go ahead and apply a filter and look at just the, the silver plans. So now you're going to see that the deductibles are going to change and now we've gone from uh, $5,000 and higher deductibles down to some that are going to be much lower. One thing you want to be careful of though is again don't just look at the deductible also keep an eye on these annual maximum costs. Now if we find a number of plans that we're interested in we can select these boxes to compare up to three plan options and then we can select this button at the top and this will allow us to compare the plans side by side and here we can see the monthly premium for the three plans. We can see the, uh, the difference in the deductibles and the all-important out-of-pocket maximums as well as we have the ability to go down and look at what the provider co-pays are. And uh, another thing that you want to be sure to check is the prescription drug coverage and uh, many of these plans uh, will have co-pays for, uh, some will have co-pays for generic drugs and preferred brand name drugs. Many of the non-preferred brand name drugs and specialty drugs are often subject to deductible and co-insurance. Another thing that, that's worth paying attention to is facilities, because uh, this is where you're going to see the, the coverage for outpatient surgery and inpatient hospital admissions. You'll see some of these plans may have co-pays for, uh, for hospital admissions. Likewise, emergency care is where you can see if the plan has uh, any co-pays for urgent care treatment at, on nights and weekends, as well as how emergency room services are covered. So anyways, you also have the ability to download these uh, plan options into Excel. Now, after you've identified the plan that you like, you can simply add the plan to your cart and then check out. Now, as a reminder, if you're eligible for Medicaid or the Advanced Premium Tax Credit, don't forget that you must first apply for Medicaid. And if not approved, then you enter your denial code and complete the eligibility determination section for the Advanced Premium Tax Credit. Then you can shop the plans where you'll see the reduced monthly premiums net the advanced premium tax credit and then you can add the desired plan to your cart and check out. Now you're armed with the information and know-how to enroll in Medicaid, capitalize in advanced premium tax credits, and how to quickly identify the right health insurance plan that works with your providers and suits your needs. I sure hope this video has been helpful. If so, please share this page on Facebook. Uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.